Donald Trump continues to go after Elizabeth Warren for her claims of Native American heritage. He's repeatedly called her Pocahontas. And on Wednesday, at a Trump rally in Maine, one of his supporters mocked Warren by introducing Trump with a Native American war cry. Warren's heritage is an issue I looked at four years ago. Here's what I found in 2012. In 1994, Warren was recognized as a distinguished faculty member at my alma mater, the University of Pennsylvania Law School. Her recognition was listed in the Penn Minority Equity Committee's 2005 report. Eight names are listed in bold, meaning minority status. Three are African-American, three are Asian, one Puerto Rican, and then there's Warren. Additionally, from 1986 to 1995, while teaching at the University of Texas and Penn, Warren listed herself as a minority in the Association of American Law Schools directory. Warren only removed her minority label after Harvard hired her in 1995. And still at Harvard, the school paper noted, although the conventional wisdom among students and faculty is that the law school faculty includes no minority women, professor of law Elizabeth Warren is Native American. Though she insists she never capitalized on her minority status, she also has never substantiated her claim. Well, this week, a Native American writer took her to task for this and more in a CNN.com piece titled, Elizabeth Warren Should Apologize to Native Americans. Simon Moya Smith is a citizen of the Oglala Lakota Nation and culture editor at Indian Country Today. He joins me now. Simon, for what should she apologize? Well, she's perpetuating these stereotypes like high cheekbones. That's a racist, antiquated stereotype. Just because you have high cheekbones doesn't make you Native American. Also, when she wrote to Trump that this country was based or was built on things like decency and concern for our neighbor, that's a blatant lie. She needs to apologize for that one. And not just to Native Americans. We know that this country was not built on decency and concern for our neighbor. In your CNN essay, you said that she's both played the Indian card for decades and has avoided the community. How has she played the card beyond perhaps what I just offered? And how has she avoided your community? Well, she hasn't been involved. Nobody knows where she's at. She plays the card by saying she's Native American and then disappears. We want to know why she isn't involved in the community that she claims to be a part of. And that is problematic because she is only addressing Trump for his poor business record, calling him a loser. But she hasn't addressed directly the racism directed at at Native Americans. The political, we're made into political fodder and she's not saying anything about it. So she has this history of claiming to be Native American, but she's nowhere to be found. There's something that you wrote that I wanna put on the screen and ask you about, it begins this way. Yet Warren continues to perpetuate a false reality of who Native Americans are today, while in turn, inadvertently or not, encouraging the claims of millions of convenient Indians who self-identify as Native American for their own gain. Is that what you think she is? Someone who's a convenient Indian who has self-identified for her own gain? Well, she's convenient in the sense that she is, she's claiming to be Native American, but she's not addressing these issues. I don't hear her say anything about, for example, that Native Americans are statistically more likely to be killed by police. I don't hear her talking about domestic violence of Native American women 3.5 times more likely than any other women in any other demographic. We just don't know where she's at. She uses this heritage and then she's gone. And then it's, we're left to have to pick these fights. We're, we're left to have to tell people that, you know what, you can't mock us that way. You know that war cry that, that's very racist. Even though people still do that at, at baseball games and football games, it's still racist. She's not addressing those. Simon, what about the way in which Donald Trump is using this issue against her by calling her Pocahontas? He uses it like a pejorative. And, and that's racist in itself. I mean, obviously he's a troll. Obviously he's ha- he has a documented history of attacking Native Americans. So we expect it from him. We're wondering where she's at in this situation. Why she doesn't recognize the indigenous peoples now. Why she only attacks his business record and not his racism against allegedly her people, us, Native Americans. All right, I'm hearing that he's a troll and she has played the Indian card without being a full member of the community. And that's your beef. Well, the problem also is she perpetuates the stereotype of like things like high cheekbones. She's like the patron saint of the wannabe. There's millions of people out there that claim to be Native American because they think they can go to school for free or they think they're going to get casino money. She has an opportunity to take this and make it into a teachable moment, but she hasn't. She's completely silent. Simon, you are an equal opportunity offender. That's a good thing in my book. Thank you for being here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Up next.